And <coughs> this is, uh, we now explained uh, how much this, these three years findings. Uh, already, Kato Sensei explained uh, we found only three human skeletal remains. Only number one, number two, number three. Number one is expired in uh, 2011, all culture period around the birth. Number three recovered in uh, 2013, all culture period about seven to eight years of dental age, maybe females. Uh, <coughs> number two, recovered in nine, uh, <coughs> nine, uh, 2000, 13, old culture, and other females. <coughs> this picture is uh, uh, Dr. Sato, Professor uh, <coughs> Adachi of University of Yamanashi. This is an associate professor of Kimura of University of Ryukyu. Three are the genetists, but <clears throat> in this season, only Professor Kimura will come in. Will come. Only Professor Adachi Sensei. No. So, <clears throat> uh, professor Kimura will explain for you in genetic base of the human populations. So <clears throat> when you found, when you find human skeleton, please wear it like that. So <clears throat> very careful and sample was reserved in the refrigerator. Okay, let me explain a bit more about this thing. And uh, maybe uh, this picture may be to uh, detail to us specific for you and the graphs. And uh, please remember at least uh, that we can tell many things uh, from by examining human uh, human remains uh, excavated at Hominabar Eben because with very they are very well conditioned results. And uh, as I told you before, told you before, uh, we got only three individuals so far uh, in these four years. And uh, second, and as you know, as you see that we get enough number of human skeletons uh, from this uh, uh, site uh, and very long time ago, from 50 years, uh, we got over uh, 50 individuals uh, already and uh, making uh, many academic papers were already published in terms of the uh, mm -hmm. uh, mostly morphology and observation of the metric early analysis mm -hmm. uh, as you see or the slide and the, the new project and the main uh, purpose of the, this project is about genome project or genome uh, analysis of the host uh, people and uh, that's why we our team includes uh, some genetic genetical anthropologists uh, like them and uh, one of them uh, will uh, tell you about how digging up the human remains uh, or the extracting the sample for DNA analysis and, uh, and avoiding the contamination of human DNA. Mm. Uh, that's why he wore a clean wear of his body and uh, prohibiting the Speeds or the sweats mm. from them, and maybe uh, we'll we'll show you uh, about that in the ribbon again. I thank you. <coughs> so
In addition, this skeleton has very <coughs> specific pathology. We show you. I show you. This is CT images. This is clavicle. Very, <coughs> you can see this clavicle, but a hypothesis or a bone form, new bone formation in here. <coughs> as far as we preservation scar is very almost complete. This is CT image, upper limb bone sternum, and vertebra and limb. Almost complete, but lower limb bones were missing. At first, sex determination, female. Sex determination was based on both morphology of its great cytic notch and cranium and long bones and amelogenin gene analysis. This is genetic determination. Independent uh, professor <coughs> Adachi and Dr. Sato independently analyzed the genetic analysis from the bone, amelogenin gene analysis. They found <coughs> X and X, so it <coughs> No, they found no Y chromosome. So <coughs> the bone, the skeleton was female. We confirmed. Next gene, gen, age determination. This is also Professor <coughs> Nagaoka estimated using the avicular surface the idiom. Stature. 152.9 centimeter based on uh, formula of Sasso and Hanihara's <coughs> equation. Next, uh, <coughs> isotope. Radiocarbon data and stable isotope. <coughs> it's number one, two, three, almost all. <coughs> Number two, <coughs> calibrated age is 1,029 to 12, uh, 1,206 years AD, maybe. And <coughs> stabilized stop number two is here is the same of the other. <coughs> And the remains of our uh, Hamanaka sites. The clavicle is a bit hyperostosis, grotesque periostitis. So, CT image, bilateral, irregular, cortica, thickening. Sternum, slight hyperostosis. Smooth surface, ribs, hyperosis, and around the attachment point of the muscles. And also, cortical thickening at the external surface of the rib. Scapula. Hyperosis around the margin of the granular cavity and the lateral borders. Upper rim bone, humerus, hypothesis caused by osteitis and synovitis around the out articular margin here. <coughs> it's a massive change. Atlas and axis, also hypothesis was seen at the tendon, right ligament, and joint capsule attachments. A dense. It's a <coughs> In addition, the hypothesis we found the <coughs> right upper canine first primora, chronic apical periodontitis. Excessive amount of the secondary cementum were deposited on the root surface here. So, 
we now <coughs> hypothesize this is she was affected by the SAR4 syndrome. It's a synovitis acune pastrosis hypostosis ostitis. This is a <coughs> Uh, <coughs> South syndrome patient in living people, living person, like that. Our radiologist, radiological professor, also diagnosed this is uh, this may be Saho syndrome. So <coughs> now I prepared, we prepared the papers for the, these pathological findings. It's, <coughs> it's <coughs> oh, time is over, so I skip the whole, whole thing. You can read these slides by yourself. So, <coughs> As, <coughs> as Professor Fukase explained, now living people, Ryukyu and mainly Japanese, East Asia, and Siberian people, the nuclear genome analysis was performed, already performed. And nowadays, German nuclear DNA analysis of German people were <coughs> progressively analyzed and will be published in the near future. So, <coughs> nuclear genome of Ohotsuki people must be analyzed. So, <coughs> in this project, so please find new human skeletal remains for you. How contribute? <coughs> How contribute formation the Ainu people, the Hosk people? How <coughs> would you like to know the evidence of the <coughs> from the nuclear genome analysis? This is thanks. And this is grand sponsors. I must write that. Thank you very much. <laughs>